in once upon a time. Andrea, <laughs> you're haunting me. What the hell? Hmm. Remother Broken Porcelain. The second sequel of Remother Tormented Fathers. So here we are officially here of a new gameplay of Remother Broken Porcelain. So if this game is just like the first one, then we here for some trouble. Because we've been chased around a whole time with Jody Foster and now it looks like to be this little girl right here is the character we might be controlling. So, here we are officially to start the second sequel of Remother. Where do you want me to start? From the beginning. One late afternoon, a mysterious woman who introduces herself as Dr. Reed Rosemary, visits the villa of the old notary, Richard Felton, whom suffers from a strange disease. He is assisted by his personal nurse, Gloria Ashman. After a brief and fruitless conversation, Reed is exposed as an imposter. She has come to the villa to find out what really happened to Felton's missing adopted daughter, Celeste. After being thrown out and refusing to give up, Reed hides until nightfall and sneaks back into the villa to search for clues. As Reed explores the villa, she soon finds herself in the center of her worst nightmare. Richard Felton has killed his wife, Ariana Gallo, and has lost his sanity. Upon learning that Reed has infiltrated the villa, Felton and a mysterious red nun begin hunting Reed. Reed eventually reaches the attic, where a mysterious girl who claims to be called Jennifer is found looming in the shadows. Reed eventually discovers that Richard Felton and the Jennifer in the attic are actually the same person. Richard Felton was born as a woman, but was then forced by her cruel father to live as a man. Phenoxyl, a drug created by Felton, the Ashmans and Professor Wyman on the Rosagallo farms, was created from a rare breed of parasitic moths to repress and erase traumatic memories. It is revealed that the drug was tested on Felton and the nuns of the nearby convent. The drug caused terrible side effects, hallucinations, severe light sensitivity, and homicidal rage. As Reed was escaping Jennifer, Gloria returns to the villa and offers to help Reed. Gloria drugs Reed and upon wakening, she finds Gloria forcing Felton to cut out his own tongue and burn himself to death. Gloria reveals that she is the Red Nun, the sole survivor of the fire at the convent, which was started to cover up the Phenoxyl experiments. Gloria had been hypnotizing Felton for revenge. After a frantic confrontation, Reed manages to escape Gloria's murderous rage. Just before Gloria passes, she reveals that Celeste is still alive and that she had fled the Felton Villa years ago. Reed must continue her search for unanswered questions. If Gloria was the daughter of Felton's associates, the Ashmans, why was she used as a guinea pig for experiments in the convent? Who were the Feltons protecting their daughter from? What happened to Celeste Felton?
All right, here we go. Explore the area. First of all, I am not taking no meds if I have PTSD. All right. Memories and time go hand in hand. Yes, it, yes, it does. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. There would be no separation between pre and post trauma. No. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers or a common ground. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings. Two opposing perceptions would coexist, overlapping and threatening one another, to the detriment of the one truth now shattered, the so called porcelain memory. Save point of mirror. Oh, what's this? I have a corrosive protector. I am sneaking around here, don't know what the heck I'm doing. Alright. Okay, is there a weapon or anything I can get in here? Looks like I am isolated in a trap room. Alright, let's see. A weapon, maybe. That's a typewriter. There's a wish we call on the floor. I'll take the ammonia bottle. Pretty much the same thing in the first game. Here, yeah, this is a mirror. This is my save point, but. Okay, somebody's knocking over there somehow. Any weapons I can get? Okay, I have it. Oh. Okay, let's see here. Oh. Okay, I can jump over. Can I run? Yes, I can. I can run. Missing person alert. All right, so we've got somebody missing. Cleared ours. You can't go that way, so we actually... Oh, oh wait a minute. She can run pretty good, though. Fast. Oh, let's try this again. No, get up. Get up. Oh, she can run. I like that. I like the fact, like the fact she can run. All right, so let's see what we're looking at. We know we can't... We could hop over. Let's see. Can't see anything. What the hell? I don't want to fucking, I don't what the want hell? To Damn! Oh man, I'm hit already? Damn, he just smacking the hell out of me. The hell? Who is this dude is smacking me like this? Stop ducking! Run, run, lady! God dang it! Oh, come on, you seriously? Okay, can I hear myself, maybe? Oh shoot, he's right there. Damn, damn that guy can run. Damn, I can't get out of here. Shit, I'm trapped in here. Oh no. Oh no. This is how we're gonna start the game like this? Wow. That's a heck of an intro. I hope I was dreaming. All right. So I'm here. Let me get that. So I'm here with a broken, broken arm. So something had to happen to me to get that broken arm. So I'm just gonna go in here and see what this guy wants. But before I see what he wants, I'm just gonna look around, see if I can touch anything or. No, so I can't really touch anything right now, so it looks like I have to sit by this guy here. Alright. See what he wants. See what he wants. There we go. I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But for everything else, I refuse to do so. 
This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plan did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! I don't know anymore. It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended. Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious. <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do your best. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Run along now. Wow, just like that? Okay. He must have did something really bad that made him mad. Oh, and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. Well, who's Lindsay? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Really? Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. Oh, dang, I'm... Well, damn, I'm that much of a trouble. I'm that much of a troublemaker. Oh my god. The bathroom in room number two twelve has to be cleaned. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his parents' death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. Uh -huh. What happened to them? Dead, my dear, like all those who grow old, and I'm sure the morning sped up the process. Morning for the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? The convent just went up in flames one day, even this building was partly damaged. A dozen nuns died in that fire, Mr. Ashman's sister, Gloria, being one of them. Dang, that's terrible. oh, yeah, that's right. They contracted some sort of disease, they practically went blind. They had gone mad. And that Dr. Wyman? Sure as hell didn't help them. Poor girl. She was locked up in there by her own parents. Why? Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. Must be Eliza. Or Lindsay, one or two. Lindsay. Does Mr. Ashman have something to do with it? Shh! Lower your voice! Get us thrown out of here. I ain't trying to get you thrown out. It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit of touching his little sister. His what? Oh, God. oh man. He's got the perverse here. like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. Hey. If it were me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been mommy and daddy, sweetheart. Well, I do appreciate the in the uh the intake of air all the information you gave me, but god dang man, he touches his little sister and oh my god. The perversion of this that make the most out of your eye. You can combine items to get more powerful to open the inventory and it's with wide and select crafting. Okay, I have nothing to craft. There's a TV. Let's see. We got this. See. What's this? We have a moth key, whatever that is. We have. We have a, a defense weapon, a knife. Okay, let's see. Let's see. There. Okay, let's see. I can't believe I'm still dragging around this lice infested suitcase. Had it since I was at the Flemington Institute. Well, I'll go ahead and open it then. All right, let's see. What we got here. We, oh, I guess I sit down. No, I ain't got nothing else to do.
What the? What was that? Oh, he come that music. Something's up. Oh. Wow, look at this. Ah, fucking hell, man, you scared me. Oh, that's Lindsay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Ever heard of knocking? No way. It is so last year. Knocking? Last year? Everything okay? The Vatican? No, it ain't okay. Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. You got angry, didn't you? Why would you care, Lynn? Yeah. Tell me. I was just asking. You're asking, right? You want me gone. Just what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? You can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. <laughs> I didn't mean to. It was only... An accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Well, Jen, please. I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. Yeah, he did. Sure did. What are you talking about? You want me? You want me gone? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. Uh. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. You think they would have gotten away with it, right? Go away, Lynn. Leave me alone. No! You're, you're going to let me speak. <clears throat> Go away! Okay. Just please! Uh -huh. Open the fucking door! Fuck you, Lynn! Fuck you! Huh. You were just loyal. I thought we knew each other, but I was mm -hmm. wrong. Mm -hmm. Go away. I beg you. The hell? What the hell is going on? Yeah, what is that? Oh no, that butterfly thing again. Don't tell me. Okay, this is a place to hide. Okay. Let's see, get some stuff here. Got some Monya. Look in the mirror. Let's see, anything that worked? No, no, let me close that. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, Jen, you look like hell today. Yeah, yeah I guess so. And you got a weapon. Okay, that works. You got a mark key, whatever that is. But okay. Alright. Reach the lobby. Okay, that's a, okay. That's outside. We can't go. God dang, we can't go that way. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we're going to check the lobby. I'll see what's really going. Put that note on my door. What does it mean? This is a joke. I don't like it at all. Lynn. Go away. Making fun of her. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, we got a save. Hold on. Oh, that's a better weapon, I think. Oh, that's a place to hide. Okay, I can hide here. Where's some save point at? I need to find a spot where I can save. Actually, let's see. Hmm. Nothing. Absolutely nothing in there. All right, let's see. Room two one three. Eliza said she would have taken care of it. I don't understand why it's locked. Okay, let's run. Locked? This door has never been locked before. The hell? Okay. Reaching the lobby. I'm reaching the lobby. Oh, 
What's going on here? It's time to eat. Time to eat. Hey, who are you feeding? Who is that tree for? Who are you talking to? Yeah. I know we had another person here. I don't understand. There aren't any guests at the hotel. Who could have ordered a meal? Exactly. The heck is this? What the hell does Akron say? Fail test. Uncontrollable arch and monopoliation? He was eaten alive? What the hell is this? Whoa. It's alive. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh, whoa. What did they do to you? What the hell? You know him. One man once upon a time. <laughs> You're hurting me! What the hell? Oh, hell no. God dang it. Oh, hell no, 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 no. Oh, shoot, she knows I'm here. Oh, whoa, 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 already? Of your oh my gosh. The music. Oh, we starting this already. Already, already. Oh my god. What's my task was? No. Go back. Is that a task I'm supposed to do or something? I'm gonna wait these out a little bit, see what she goes. I hope she don't got the call back up. Okay, I hear something else. It seems like she came back. I hear a pair of keys. Oh, this is not good. Damn, but I'm gonna have to take a chance though. Okay. Oh, a knife. I like the knife better. Let's see. I'll leave that shuffle right there just in case. Okay, let me get over here. Oh, I do have a task. I have obje objective, collectibles, tutorial. Oh, no tutorials. Objective: Use telephone in the laundry room. Ask for help. Follow Andrea. Investigate. Reach the lobby. Explore the area. Okay. Oh, what's this? The hotel will reopen in late spring. Until then, I will only see the same ugly. You got that right. This is supposed to be the hotel. They smell like an orphanage. If she's doing something. Who the hell that was in there? I don't know who he was. Okay, let me see if I'm Oh, that's a knife. Oh, I already got a knife, so that's perfect. We'll go around here as fast. It's all their fault. Okay, stealth. Be sure not to be heard. When even looking at something, stalkers can notice you by the noise you make. Crouch and watch, make sure not to be heard. Sometimes stalkers won't be alone. Be aware of everything that you can hear and put your enemy on your tracks. Andrea, what the hell is going on with you? This is all so surreal. Okay, I need to find her down. Okay, okay, she's sewing. Okay. Have they completed their chores? Obviously not. Yeah, no, they all stay right there. Okay, what this is. Damn. 
It would be best if I just told him. I don't work with crybabies. It's contact this room. It's 213. Dial, by num dial number on floor and room number. Okay. Okay. What was I supposed to do? Use the telephone in the laundry room. Ask for help. It's all their fault. Okay. Dang, I can't get there. Well, I'm just gonna sneak past here. I told Ashman that we didn't need desperate children. Okay. Oh, I don't know who the hell that is. Oh, we have a do level save point. We're gonna say this right now. Okay, perfect. Uh let's see what's down here. Okay, we good. She's sewing now. She won't hear you hear us from what we doing since we're down here, so we're gonna ride this bad boy out right here. We got another closet to hide from. We have a rope. Oh, the hell that is. Okay. Okay. We have a screwdriver. Okay. Sc screwdrivers will work. Okay, that's a radio. I'm not touching that. Anything that makes noises, I'm not touching it. Okay, we got a... I don't know what that is. I ain't trying to find out what that is either. Alright, see. We go here. This must be the hotel's older wing. The one which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. Yeah, it's gotta be. Save point. Okay. I'm not going mad. I'm not possessed. It's in the air. It's in the food. They're of course in need. Okay. What's she doing? Okay, washing clothes. Wow. Okay. Stand up for a little bit. We're gonna go and we're gonna check this out. Well, was in there. We're gonna get it. Oh shoot, she is coming with a pair of scissors. No, that's a knife. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, she looking mean too. She ain't playing the games. Is she coming Dear back? God, this is a nightmare. This is a bull. 
Is she coming back? Is she coming back? No, she's not coming back. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's see. Unlock and use launch room. Telephone. Ask Eliza for help. Use telephone to launch for help. Okay. Okay, we good. We are good. All right, let's see, we gotta go downstairs. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna go right here. Cause she might have heard of that. Okay. All right, she can hear that. Okay, perfect. I don't know where she at, but you know what? I'm gonna save this game right here. And we're gonna end the gameplay right here of Remothered. Broken porcelain. And we'll be back until next time on part two of Remodel. See how far Andrew is going to chase us. I am out.